Good afternoon, my name is Anna Daniels and this is my CSA Day presentation. Today I would like to share with you all my digital portfolio as well as my most recent project in my studio class here at Meredith. To begin, this is my digital portfolio. I will provide the link at the end if anyone wants to look at any projects or look at my resume. Um, just to start in the top right corner, you obviously have my name and my LinkedIn profile if you want to take a look at that as well as my email. Below that, we have my About Me page, which features a headshot and a professional summary. So you guys can go and read about that if you're interested. Beside that, we have my resume, which is pretty standard, all of my educational as well as my professional experience. And then moving into the projects that I'm featuring in my portfolio, if you would like to go view those, you can come right over to the left and you have all of the titles that you can click on and you can visit them there. As well as that, you have all of their cover pages right below the about me and resume sections of my portfolio and you can also access them if you just click on the cover page as well. So yeah, those are my projects. And the one I really wanna focus on today is my most recent project for my ID448 studio class. This project is titled the Mad Hatter's Lounge. It's actually a renovation of the Beehive located in the Kate Center of Meredith College. My inspiration for this project was Meredith's nickname of Wonderland. And I kind of wanted to take an abstract spin on the Mad Hatter's Tea Party because I just think that's, such a cool concept. I think it's different. I think it's funky. I think it's fun. And I think it's really reflects my personal style, which was um, part of the assignment for this project. So right on this first um, page of my presentation, you have my concept statement, a few inspiration photos, as well as some wallpapers and paints that I have selected. Moving right along, we have my rendered floor plan and um, the driving force, honestly, behind this whole entire project, um, which really gave me the idea to do it on Wonderland was this first wallpaper we see right here that is all of these really bright, fun colors. It's more, it's like a jellyfish print, which I think is really interesting and intricate. And I just really loved the jarring juxtaposition of all the colors and it was the driving force behind this entire design. So that is my accent wall, my focal piece. And then I decided to take that mauve from one of the jellyfish and use that for my um, trim color. And then also on all the other, other walls, we have this black and white fun spotted print and um, this kangaroo color for the ceiling, which I thought was really a, a toned down um, color to select for the ceiling since the rest of this um, design is really loud and really bold. I kind of wanted to play it safe. And I also liked how the um, brass finishes looked right up against that kangaroo color. Moving down to our textures, we have a really fun backsplash that I designed that's going to go right against that accent wall, which we'll see right down below in our elevations. We have this marble countertop with gold veins, which I just think is gorgeous. We have a black penny tile with brown grout for the flooring, which is also non-slip because it is a dining, um, a restaurant. And then we have our drapery, which just features those, um, the mauve from the trim and also that bright turquoise, which I just love. Then moving to our furniture, we kind of went with an art deco style here. It's one of my personally favorite styles from the past. And we went with, um, these blue suede dining and bar stools. And um, they also finish or actually have the brass finishes on the legs as well. And then we also have these two top tables that have the same countertop as the bar. And for the bar, I wanted to go with a custom design. So we have this fluted round edge um, matte black bar with a gold band at the bottom, which I just thought was really elevating the look and making it more of a dining experience for the students. And then also um, at the very bottom, we have our fixtures, which we have a flush mount. Um, instead of a recessed can situation, I kind of wanted to go with something that architecturally gives interest and gives you something to look at. And I just love the look of that flush mount. So I selected those for all around the um, dining area. And then I used those brushed brass um, pendants for our bar areas, which are super fun. And then the neon sign, which is my personal favorite, will also be on that bar wall. And it really just reinforces the concept of um, the Mad Hatter's Lounge. 
Moving right along to our elevations. So these are my re rendered elevations. I was really pleased with how these turned out and they just kind of bring the whole concept to life, bring all those colors, those materials, everything that you just put together and you can kind of see it kind of gives you a visual for it. Um, and so I just wanted to note that elevation one is our main bar and that will be quick service, counter dining, and then in elevation two, we actually have a lowered bar for um, to be ADA compliant. And those, all of those measurements are completely ADA compliant. You can roll up a wheelchair to it, or you can also bring the dining chairs in if you would like to sit there as well. On that middle wall in the elevation, we also have two POS systems and they are um, one's higher and one's slightly lowered to be ADA compliant. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for tuning in to my CSA Day presentation. I am so glad I could share this project with you guys in my digital portfolio. And I will add the link to my portfolio below for everyone to view. Thank you so much again.